solid. Yeah, so in terms of uh, overall right-clicking, pretty even there. It's going to be a little charge into the river trying to go for that rune, but uh, Spearbreaker is successful in that. Picks up a haste, so he can just kind of keep bopping up 1437. And uh, oh, there we go. go. Nice little bash. Warlock's coming in, gets the Shadow Ward off to try to help with that heal. These wild wings are causing some distractions. Now another charge coming back in. Magic Missile from AUI. Are First you blood. Meanwhile, Medusa scores a kill. As long as uh, Wings has some damage problems, it's going to make Medusa even better mm -hmm. for the rest of the game. Got a charge down here. Witch Doctor pops in the Maledict. The Sunstrike as well. If they can't get this kill, I don't know how they're going to get kills around the map. Beating the Venge is not what you want to do. But again, that's the issue. Here it comes. They're going to find the lane. This is a good choice. Maledict coming in, but they've got the Ogre there to keep things going. Warlock does not have his ulti, so if anything is good for Wings, now is the time to strike. And they are able to get the kill on AUI right before the TP gets out. It's damage over time, most of Warlock's damage, so um, time lapse completely counters Ooh. that. Makes Rotation it in is a charge on EE. Can they actually get Gotta him down get in time? Off. Okay, there we go. EE just getting bashed up. Oh, almost lives, but one more smack from Faith Beyond. It will secure the kill. That was very bizarre. Uh, he turned off of his he turned off his shield there because he wanted to make sure he had mana. Oh, swap in. They want to try to get something for their trouble here. Nice little blinding light. Ice Ice trying to keep his friends safe. They are able to get this done off. There's going to be another charge on AUI, and it looks like this Venge could be in trouble once again. They bring in the Weaver for more damage, and can they get him down? Ogre well, tries to go for the Bloodlust and save, but it's not enough. In fact, Ogre may lose his life as well. This is huge for Wings. All of a sudden, three heroes dead in the mid lane. Experience to catch up, but... Even if he dies here, I don't think it's that bad for their team. He's got to just got to stun the SB. No, he's gonna go for the movement speed, I guess. But yeah, I mean, I think he knows it's about to get real here. Medusa's actually TPing in bottom, but she just let her ult go here. She's gonna drop the snakes, but she's burning Ultra right now. Snakes. Gonna be taking an ult from the witch doctor. She's getting real low here. Unfortunately, gonna be going down. No idea why NP is so under farmed. It's not because they're bad. I promise. If you go back and watch <laughs> this replay from their perspective, they're gonna see no heroes on the map. Oh, we're going for a fight here. Is that a fight? That is. Does that count? That's not even a fight. That's just a gut punch right there. That, EE just gets dropped. That was a deuce that it looked like she didn't have her ultimate. Look at her, 1437. Her Ogre's one of the tankiest heroes in the game. He's got a w Warlock heal on him, and he's still getting chewed down. Look at that. He can't do anything. The Cold Snap from Invoker preventing him from even walking away. This has been abusing. Well, they're trying to move here. They got Deuce leading the charge of the smoke. There is going to be a smoke break as Faith Beyond invis up. So now you've got a... Uh, Shadow Blade. Oh, a swap coming in. They're trying to go. The Coddle, though, pops into the Glimmer Cape. They're looking for the kill in the Shadow. Chrono does connect onto two. They're doing a decent amount of damage, but on the back line, the Invoker is starting to drop everything here. The Chaotic Offering that really coming good in. That's going to be a very, very good Warlock participation. Oh. They are able to get the Aegis off of the Weaver. Eternal Envy, though, he's getting really, really low. Faith Beyond goes in for the charge, wants to get something done with his last breath, but the stun. They are able to get the Spirit Breaker down. They do lose the Dusa, and there's going to be a stun coming back in. Is Shadow going to bring enough damage to get down AUI? Feeling a little confident, a little bold after that last fight, and they want to punish them for this. So, the 4G coming up, going to be getting things going. Medusa goes in, is able to uh, at least force back wings for now, giving NP a better chance to set up before it gets real. Illuminate comes in, Shadow just tossing out a couple of damage. His mana's low. Oh yeah, they're going back in. There's going to be a stun up on the Coddle. Sunstrike coming in, MSS able to get all that health back though. Shadow starting to lay into AUI, but there's going to be a Warlock Great column ulti. to stop him down. And it looks like AUI will get the kill onto the Coddle. And it looks like NP are looking to clean up elsewhere on the map. Snakes going back in. Envy able to TP home. Meanwhile, they are still feeling the uh, the wrath of what's going to be going down. Shadow trying to lay in the bugs. 1437 may not be so lucky. Will end up going down. And now the Warlock is uh, unfortunately going to eat the rest of the damage there. So, right, let's see if MSS is going to be going for the sneaky chrono plays. There is going to be a dire sentry ward. So he's not really fooling anyone. In fact, there is going to be a smoke up. Face beyond in a very unfortunate position. There's going to be the golem drop by the Warlock. Is this enough oh, damage? Died. Okay, Faceless Boy gets out the Chrono, but he's dead. So it looks like the Golem going to be doing the heavy people, lifting though. here. They are going to be able to get the Witch Doctor down. EE -E running back to base is still going to get charged up, though. No mana left. That mana shield not going to be helping out. Oh, there is going to be a nice little Golem dropped in. They are going to get the kill on the Spear Breaker. Again, a beautiful Fatal Bonds, but they lose the Warlock now. It looks like it's going to be losing 1437. Again, Weaver not really scared here. Has an Aegis, so just can sit back and start to siege the racks. NP. Venge, the only one up. The buybacks are few and far between, and at 32 minutes in, it's just something that NP really can't afford right now without falling dramatically behind. Oh, now Warlock channeling up some slows, but gonna give up the chase. Now Weaver could be in a little bit of trouble. And we'll see, he's gonna get off that time lapse, and oh gosh, that Warlock just got owned by the Illuminate. If they just had a Chrono Sphere there, it would have been straightforward, but Deuce should fall from this as well. 
Uh, or not. No, she's all right. She'll be able to get back to base, but definitely them with her defensive part of this game. And 1437 getting low as well. A couple more slaps from the Invoker might be able to do it. But actually, it looks like Blink could be in some trouble here. You've got MSS trying to be scary, but doesn't have a Chrono. And Wings clearly know this. They're going to focus him down, and they will get that kill as well. He's dead for 52, has the buyback. But at this point, is it worth it? What does Ashibas? he offer? Oh, my God. All right. Now for the Weaver, as he's just going in, raking up the kill, keeping Warlock dead. And uh, they're now looking to focus onto that Deusa. Deusa dies without buyback, and this may be it. The GG called out by Eternal Envy. Now it's going to be game number one in the books. Wing is looking very strong in this just, series. It's just an amazing, amazingly played game by Wing. Like the Wings draft better, I think the Necro pick was amazing. It's like Jakiro might have the lockdown necessary. Okay, uh, they should be able to get this. There here. we go. Ice Path does connect. The Lion walks into it. Lands oh, like what? Oh, ravaged. God. That's a wrap. That is a five man level one earth spike that is not going to be a kill going in favor. That's a please, of, uh, man. Did you see how much harass he did? That was one fire blast. Oh, MSS. Minutes. He's going in. He wants to get something done here. He's got that reactive armor charging up. He's got five stacks already, but can he actually make it back under his tower in time? They're going to get the first blood. Puck. But one spin. Doesn't That's make sense. Uh, something you should really complain about now. Bad there we're going to see Eternal Envy can be punished here. He's so close killed. to his level six, but the scythe flies through. Now there's at least 30 more seconds until he's back on the map farming. Let's see if the centaur smoke can get anything done. Smoke is going to be popping. Will they be able to find out the lion here? It is a small kill, but if they can get it, it's fantastic here. Now centaur! He's going to be just trapped up in the air. There's some decent control coming out. Shakira with an ice path on too. There's going to be a reaper scythe coming in, slapping apart that centaur, and it looks like the lion running for his life. Can the wings get out scot-free here? 1437 going in. There's going to be an earth spike holding him in place. They're going to turn this around. The ogre not able to do anything. TP to lane and instantly take a fight. Yeah, still going to be that Battle of Timber versus Puck, but they're bringing in the supports here. We are going to have a Dream Coil dropped out. There's the silence onto Timber Saw, but nice Ice Path connects onto two. They're able to get you a dual breath off as well. Oh, they, they can turn this now. Uh, if they're trying to turn it, they're going to be TPing in the Ogre Magi. Is they that really going to be enough? They're going to be able to yep. go forward. There's going to be that Stampede, but the Reaper side polishing off the Jakiro. Puck able to get off the phase shift. And now it looks like Wing is actually feeling really good about this. Faith Beyond gets off a little uh, waning rift. Unfortunately, does still lose his life. Wings is just continuing to control the game. Is this a great Centaur pipe game? Is that something it needs to be going for? It's, it's a great item. Yeah. I think they'll get this kill at least. That's yeah, uh, something for their troubles, but... Is that Dazzle really worth it? Oh, now Necro beautiful. comes in, he's going to be sitting behind his tower. NP, they're staying in some dangerous territory, now going to be trying to go away. Yeah, he's going to be real bad. wrapped around just, upon. He just used ult though. And he's going to be weaved up, he's dream coiled in place. There's really not a whole lot he can do to get out of this. They're unloading everything on him and they get him down with the scythe finally. So over a minute dead with no buyback for the alchemist right now. All right, Lion, he's going to be invised up. It's about half duration and uh... It's got cloak. Good escape by MSS there. The rest of the Radiant are moving in though, there is going to be the Weave and the Dream Coil, this Timber Saw is locked in place and doubtful he's going to be able to get back down, especially with that Finger of Death committed. So Wings, once again, just reading NP like a book. They the issue is the stun's delayed, it's really more about oh, farming and pushing lanes. He's chasing down this Dragon Man, this guy's got no fear, oh. going to be catching him down before he's able to get off that uh, well, Ice Path there, and he's going to get Hexed as well, they're bringing in the rest of the damage, and here's an easy Scythe kill, Necrophos. As they uh, push up to the high ground, they're going to anticipate MP trying he's to defend this. This could be so good. He's got to land two people. Oh, he's, he's thinking about it there. He's going in, oh, but he's going to get stunned up there. Lucky little earth right, spike. And here he's, a, he's able to get two here. There's going to be a stampede. They are going to get the shallow grave off. So Dazzle at least getting some relevance here. Now Timbersaw separated from the rest of his team. And there is going to be a dream coil onto 1437. Macropire comes out from the Jakiro, but another nice little stun comes in. And Ogre is easily cleaned up. Just completely cut apart. And look at the damage on the Jakiro right now. It's going to be two more shots. And he's down as well. Puck going to be phase shifting out down to the low ground. They're trying to go in oh, onto the Centaur, cool. who really can't get out of this situation. He's just stuck between a rock and a hard place there. And will end up going down as well. Three heroes dead on NP without buyback and the rest of wings are feeling healthy and they're gonna go in scythe onto the timber and this is looking like it is almost over purge yeah they've got five heroes on the high ground they're amazing at sieging endlessly i mean puck is and still hanging on there by a threat he's sitting back he's comfortable this is just it's not looking and, good i mean this is a last resort by np they know they cannot afford to fight against mega creeps right now they just don't have the damage to do so and other well, options are running out mss Gonna be going back in, nice little uh, shock room, gonna clunch it too, and oh, they get the stun onto Al, can they actually focus him down here? Envy, he's trying to man up, will be oh, able to go, Dazzle, gonna be buying back again, there's an Aegis popped, 
Stroud Ranger coming back into the fight. Will she be able to do anything with this? She's going to have her Gus when she comes back up, and now she's going to be going ahead, forcing herself away. Envy, he's Dream Coiled in place, but he's still up. He's still fighting. Ice Path comes in. The Grave, though, are they going to be able to get Necro out of this? They're looking to focus on the Elk. They will get him. Elk dead. He does have buyback. There's a nice double mana. Earth Spike coming in from the Lion. Oh my and God. oh, Necro just cleaning up here. It's beyond godlike for the Necro. There's an Alk buyback, but three heroes still dead on the side of NP, and the rest of Wings, they're still up and they're still it. fighting. Jakiro, he's just melting. There's they didn't get anybody. Like, that was Armlet Toggle through Necro. And Puck is still stopper. alive. He's been at, like, less than a tenth HP for the last two or three minutes. Yeah, the fight looked so good, but eventually Alk just took way too much damage. Oh, the great double stun. That could change a lot. Uh, if they get a couple heroes down, but he is going to be going down, and that's going to be a dieback, I believe. And the yeah. GG is called Eternal Envy. Just has to tap out here. NP will be dropping down to the lower bracket. Wings moving on. They are now having a place in the winner's bracket final. And that was a team that Wings said they were a little scared of, but NP not necessarily knowing how good they were in reference to the other regions, something they said themselves.